We're following the exponential relationships handout from Friday's lesson. Remember that there are two key features in an exponential function. The constant y naught gives the value of the y-intercept and the constant b, which is raised to the power of x, is the rate of growth or decay of the function. Remember that b must always be greater than zero. If b is greater than one, the function is growing and if b is between 0 and 1, the function is decaying. So some of the key terms, growth and decay, relates to the constant b. And there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, as the function is undefined when y equals 0. In other words, the curve never reaches the value y equals 0. It never touches the x-axis. Remember that y equals 0 is the equation of the x-axis. A couple of examples. y equals 2x, very simple example. This function is growing at a rate of times 2 or by a factor of 2 with each unit increase in the value of x. So this function is growing. Here we have b less than 1, y equals 0 0.5 to the power of x. This is decaying by a factor of 0 0.5 with each unit increase in x. Remember that b is the growth or decay factor in an exponential relationship. Here's a couple of examples. The first one is decay and the second is growth. Take a moment to study these and uh, you'll realise that the rule we've learnt about the value of b applies. A good example that's interesting is the growth rate of bacteria, assuming there are no other factors. In this example we're assuming that bacteria are able to reproduce by doubling every hour and you can see that after 24 hours there are going to be more than 16 million bacteria. By studying the pattern from the table you can see that the function is just y equals 2 to the power of x as long as we start with one bacteria. If we started with a different number of bacteria then y naught would have a value greater than 1. So looking at the graph we can see a general rule a or y naught is the initial amount before the growth begins, r is the growth rate and x is the number of intervals. So putting in the figures from the table we can see the graphs plotted. This is looking pretty familiar to you hopefully where r is a rate and this hopefully will remind you of compound interest. Decay is similar in this example the number of tennis players is halving after each round. It's a knockout competition. After five rounds there are four players remaining. The function y equals a open bracket 1 minus r close bracket to the power of x. The decay rate is going to be a negative value. So putting in the figures we have will give you the equation for the data in the table. And note that the shape of this curve is similar to the exponential growth. Alright, so let's have a look at an example. We have a population with an initial value of 1000. And it's increasing exponentially by 10% each year. We need to define P, sorry, P0 and B. The initial population is 1000. And the rate is 10%, which is 0 0.1. And added to 100%, which is just 1, we get 1.1 raised to the power of t. I've included a graph, which I produced on Desmos. Y0 is a 1,000. Actually, I've accidentally plotted 100 instead of 1,000, but the shape of the curve is the same. The second example... Again, similar to what we did in the finance section, we have a car purchased at $23,000. It's depreciating by 
we can use the formula that we've learnt future value equals present value and n is the number of years in this equation r is of course the rate put in the values how do we get 0 0.15 well remember that 15 percent is just 15 over 100 which is 0 0.15 and we're depreciating so it's going to be a negative number How long will it take $1,200 to double if it's invested at 10.5% per annum? Same rule. We're going to increase from $1,200 to $2,400. The rate is 0 0.105. Again, just check your figures, 10.5%. Percent just means a fraction of 100, which as a decimal is 0 0.105. Add that to 1 in the formula. And now you can use your class pad to solve for n, and you will get 6.94 years, just under 7 years to double your investment at that interest rate. I hope you realise that this is compound interest. Next example, from medicine, a drug is only 95% as effective as the previous hour, and we're interested to know how long it takes for the initial dose to reduce to 52 milligrams from 250 milligrams. So we define the initial dose as D0 equals 250 milligrams. In the equation, it's a decay equation, an exponential equation with a negative rate of 0 0.05. That's 5% because each hour the drug loses 5% of its effectiveness, so we have to subtract 0 0.05. We're interested in it reaching 52 milligrams. Now you can solve for T using class pad, and the result is 30.61 hours. Here, hopefully you realise that we started three hours ago so we need to subtract three hours from that time to reach the level. So the final answer is 27.61 hours. That's the end of that presentation. I hope that reviewing this a few times will help you to understand what we did in class.